Hi everyone and welcome back to Switch Up and to the episode where we look at some of the upcoming games for the following week. It's actually a decent week for once, isn't it? Better than we've had so far. We've had quite a dry spell, obviously New Year and what have you. But yeah, this week is definitely looking up. So in terms of dates, we're going to go from the 10th of February up until the 16th to see if there's anything coming out that's worth your time and money. So what exactly is coming out? Well, let's find out. Let's start with a game from the sponsor of today's video and their new release on Switch, Golfinets. In this you'll be beginning your career as a professional golfer, participating in training sessions, honing your skills and showing your talent to qualify for tournaments that will let you achieve your ultimate goal of success. There are a number of locations to visit such as Pristine Pines, Dusty Dunes, Grand Grove and Serene Sky and each of these maps features unique obstacles such as scorpions and gusty winds that will try to stop or destroy your golf ball. As you play, you'll be able to purchase additional equipment with coins and acquiring these technologies will allow you to move the ball in unconventional ways, giving you a slight advantage over your opponents. Golfinet costs £11.69 and regional equivalents are on your screen now, but it did launch with a huge 85% discount, bringing it down to just under a couple of pounds in the UK for example. And this goes on until into March, the exact date varies between regions but it will be listed below. There will be links in the description if you are interested, please do check those out. And once again, a thank you to the publishing team behind Golfinet for sponsoring this video. Let's start with a couple of games that are already out then, and the first of those is Hunter X Codename T. Yeah, so Hunter X originally came back in 2022, and Codename T looks to be an expansion to the same universe. These are Metroidvania Souls-likes, so a lot of the things that you'd be used to, but it does look like this has more of an action-heavy approach to it. Kind of reminds me, just from the trailer, a little bit of Symphony of the Night. Was that the uh, 3D? Yeah, that was the first kind of Metroidvania, Castlevania game, if you like. And yeah, I can see what you uh, what you mean by that. Certainly has that vibe to it. It does go on to say that you'll collect a variety of weapons, shape your own action style, and there are a host of dodges, guards, parries, etc. that you can fulfill in order to get through each level. This one is already out, as we said, and it sells for £13.89. Next up then, we've got a game called Shanghai Summer, which we did mention in our RPG video we did the other day. Go check that out if you missed it. But it kind of reminds me of a couple of different games. It kind of reminds me of a space for the unbound in terms of the feeling of it. Aesthetically, it's slightly different. You know, this one has a different art style. It has that kind of uh, inverse kinematic uh, animation you know yeah. that can make it look a little bit wooden but it has an interesting premise as well where you're trying to regain your memories from the past and so far at least in the opening hour or so it seems pretty interesting if a little confusing right okay okay his whole aim is to fix a shattered dream and i think that's all based on these past memories it does the whole reminiscing about school thing that yes. so many of these it's very popular these days oh, isn't it so yeah. popular yeah that one released on february the 8th and it's just £13.09. Let's move on to the games coming out this week then, and the first of those is Lords of Exile. This looks to be an old school retro inspired platformer, and it does say words that are music to my ears, Mark, <laughs> in that it's classic linear design. Ooh, nice. No mucking about. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Left to right, that's what I like. <laughs> it says you'll be exploring eight levels, each featuring challenging obstacles and enemies, as you would expect, and at the end of each level, you'll face off against the boss. That's the Ron Seal of games. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Yeah, you're not wrong. That's what it says on the tin. It has that classic pixel art style. I do like the look of this one. I will say it is potentially quite expensive for what you get in. We'll have to see how the quality stands up at £17.99. But if you are interested, that one comes out on the 14th. Following on from that then, we've got Tomb Raider 1 to 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, in a slightly less pointy uh, outing, I would say. Now, what's nice about this is that it's going to improve a lot of the aspects from the visuals to the uh, controls. Now, obviously, we may or may not be under an embargo, so I'm not going to say any real details. You'll have to keep your eye out for reviews. But yeah, for just based on what it says on the description, it includes the first three games, and that's basically what I can say. But it does say at the bottom here of the description that you can actually switch between the old and the new styles. So that's something to look forward to, I guess. Yep, Mark being incredibly cryptic there. Um, <laughs> yeah, as he said, the first three games are included, as well as some of the DLC being Unfinished Business, 
Golden Mask and the Lost Artifact across the three games. This one is out on the 14th, £26.99, but there is 10% off that price available up until the 15th, the day after launch. Cryptic Tombs, yeah? <laughs> there we go. There we go. A fully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1. Also this week then we have Spirit Hunter Death Mark 2. Now I played the first Death Mark game, it's a visual novel and it's sequel actually, so this is obviously a, a direct sequel, but there was like a, a spiritual successor shall we say as well, and they were fantastic games. Nice. Really, really enjoyed the first one of these. So the first one was uh, basically about a man that uh, starts to look into this myth of a, a mark, people could be marked for death by a spirit, and they had to um, kind of break the curse, look into the, you know, the reason that spirit is angry, okay. to try and lift the curse from them, and obviously that played out into a number of investigations that you went on. It had a first person uh, view in terms of how you went about the locations that you visited, which was quite nice, it reminded mm -hmm. me of like an old school dungeon crawler, <laughs> but it was very much a visual novel. This one, it says here, introduces some side-on action as well. Oh, interesting. So it will be interesting to see how that plays out, but if the story is anything like the first one, I'm very much looking forward to this. That one's £44.99, so certainly more premium, and it releases on the 15th. Next up then, we've got Made of the Dead. This describes itself as an action game, so I think it's an action arcade title, whereby by the looks of it, you're really trying to eliminate tons of zombies on the screen. Now, I've got to be honest, one thing that instantly stood out to me is the fact that this doesn't have multiplayer, and I, I know they don't all have to, and you know it may have some roguelite elements, judging by some of those screenshots, but I think having played a few of the best co-op uh, games in this genre that could be potentially a bit of an issue for me yeah no you're not wrong actually that's a, a, a big missed opportunity really just looking at a couple of the screenshots and it has that classic it looks like a an old school beat em up yeah. on that kind of you know 2d sprites on a 3d plane if you like but with obviously heavy shooting action but to not have yeah a, a mate alongside you that is that is a shame having said that though it does still look interesting i do like these sort of games anything where they you know fast paced action if you die you feel compelled to go again it definitely gives me that vibe hopefully it's good enough to 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 do that when you're playing and it will release on the 15th for £17.59. Then off the back of that and kind of off the back of a game we've just been playing we have Twilight Survivors which launches at a very cheap price just £2.69 and let's be honest it's a Vampire Survivors clone. Yeah, very much so, even down to the, the low price as well, that low point of entry. However, this one doesn't include co-op either, which just seems crazy, doesn't it? That's a real, that is such a missed opportunity, because these games are significantly more enjoyable with someone else. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we've basically told you what it is just by <laughs> naming another game, but it's a time-limited survival game infused with roguelite elements to go by the blurb. But yeah, I mean, by, by the screenshots, obviously, you're looking at Vampire Survivors. It does actually look very yeah. nice. It's got lovely art style to it like a hand-drawn style again it'll be interesting to see if you can cope with that much on screen at once and i just don't know why they didn't include two player yeah do you know what on every front it looks amazing yeah. like the art style looks lovely as glenn says it has almost a cell shaded look around some of the characters if performance is solid then fantastic but let's be honest for a couple of quid if it runs well and it's actually fun then it's a nice little you know loading game pickup yeah i reckon i'll, I'll be picking this one up i'm sure yeah. just just why not for two quid or two pound sixty nine. This one is out on the fifteenth. Then one that I was very interested in again in our RPG video, plug plug plug. Hmm. Um, it's called Banshu Tactics, which launches with a 10% discount, but it comes out on February the 15th. It's basically a, uh, a high school sim game, like, and, and I, I remember the name now, what's the name? Uh, Ringo Ishikawa. Yes, yeah. the friends of Ringo Ishikawa. A bit like that in terms of the style of it by the looks of it. Um, but it's a, a TRPG, so a, a strategy turn-based RPG set within the high school setting, which focuses on the conflicts between three different gangster-controlled, I guess, yeah. high schools. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't say in the, the official blurb on the eShop, but I remember reading in preparation for the video you just mentioned that it was inspired by uh, a manga series called Crow, yeah. um, but also Final Fantasy Tactics, which I'm 
you know you may well expect but river city ransom which is a game that i i love and uh obviously that street gangs feel to it would be where that that comes in yeah again this one looks very intriguing in terms of how it pulls all that together you know it really does yeah we'll be keeping an eye out for that one if we can get something on that then we will but that one releases on february the 15th <laughs> Then one that doesn't need any introduction to you, Glenn, because you've played it in the past, and it's Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Yeah, it's nice to see this game getting a, a remake. I'll be honest, when I first saw this was coming, I assumed it was going to be a new entry in the series, not a remake, but I'm more than happy for it to be that. So basically, this series um, takes those two characters and pits them against each other for the first time in a while. Mm. Obviously, they were, uh, you know, going back to Donkey Kong in the arcades, that they were the, the hero and villain of the piece until Bowser come along. And um, this game sees you trying to save your mini Marios, these little, yeah. like, uh, mecha little, little, little robots that Mario has, across a number of puzzle-filled stages. And it reminds me, actually, of the Donkey Kong game that came out for the Game Boy many years ago now, about, well, 30 years ago? Wow. <laughs> Dear me. I remember winning that in a competition in the newspaper did you <laughs> yeah i did yeah nice but anyway yeah it, it has a puzzle feel to it where you have to find the key to the stage obviously collect your robots and get out and you'll move on and they get more elaborate as you go on and i'm really looking forward to seeing just how much they jazzed it up you know for this uh this switch version yeah there is a demo of that one available now so if you want to check it out i'm pretty sure that's going to give you a very good idea of the flavor of the game yeah for sure it sells for 39 pounds 99 which is actually 10 pounds cheaper than nintendo's standard price and this one is out on the 16th So there you have it, there's another week of Nintendo Switch releases, a far better week than we've had so far this year really to be honest, and uh, please do let us know of any games that you're picking up, what interested you, stick it all in the comment section below. Yeah, as always, if you're going to buy anything, you might as well save some money, use our links in the description for either physical, digital, or for your Joy-Cons, anything you need. Not anything you need, no, that's not, not true. Not literally anything, no. but enough to get you going. More than enough. And it does help the channel <laughs> out, so uh, that's always appreciated if you do use those links. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, and until next time, happy gaming.